the first reason why people eat more than they need or than they have to is uh, we use food as a cure for pain and anxiety and in all movies in comedy shows you probably saw it million of times a girl who is going through the breakup with her boyfriend is crying and eating tons of ice cream or chocolate she's holding like big ice cream uh, bucket and eating it and when we feel pain when we feel anxiety stress we are drawn to food and uh, this is the attempt to ease the pain to weaken it uh, we don't want to feel the pain we want to minimize it and food has taste that's why it's working so when we eat we switch focus from painful feelings inside of us uh, with the feelings of the food with the taste of food when we eat oily food fat food we eat we feel relaxation and this is physical this is how our body works it's not something that we imagine you know this is actually our body and often a person feels sleepy after eating heavy fat food uh, so the food can actually reduce our feelings of pain and anxiety same with the dessert ice cream uh, cakes uh, makes us feel good makes us feel happy so it does help when we want to minimize the pain uh, but the problem here is that the actual pain is not going anywhere we are suppressing the pain a little bit for a short period of time and when we finish eating ice cream the pain comes back and we have to eat more we need to eat more we want to eat more so we can suppress it again that's why people eat more and more and more and if you have pain maybe some pain that you experienced many many years ago but you still uh, Mm, you did not resolve the situation you st the pain is still inside of you for example maybe your parents uh, went through the tough divorce or maybe your mother was um, mm, too critical towards you or maybe you lost um, a close friend a close family member and you were not able to recover from that situation so the pain is still inside and you're constantly trying to suppress it uh, with food you're not thinking about the situation constantly but subconsciously uh, this pain is still inside of you and when it's trying to come out uh, and pain is trying to come out because it's asking to be healed so when it's trying to come out you need to eat more and more and more and uh, when we fall in love we can completely forget about food uh, love feeds us with emotions love uh, can cure uh, previous pain if you had a very tough breakup if you had a painful relationship in your life and then you meet a guy or meet a girl and you fall in love with this person then love can cure the previous pain so love nourishes us and cravings for food disappearing uh, the second reason why uh, food helps us to, to lower the pain and anxiety is simply because of this chewing motion. When we eat food, we are doing chewing motion and any motion, repeated motion can lower the anxiety level. And um, if you, people who likes to do sport, uh, they usually feel less nervous because of this the same mechanism when you run it lowers your anxiety level when you do boxing it lowers your anxiety level even when you do just regular dancing uh, any exercises physical exercises low, will lower your um, anxiety level but when you feel pain what is easier uh, grab something from the refrigerator and eat an ice cream or go for a jog of course it's easier to substitute a uh, pain with food of course it's easier to, to use food to suppress to lower your anxiety level than to go jogging and um, three tip number four 
here is to create a list of compliments that you can tell yourself for the next 40 days. Uh, it's not going to help you to heal your problems completely, but it will help you to lower it a little bit. Because the defense, this defense mechanism of substitute pain and anxiety with food, um, the mechanism how we can, not substitute, how we can lower the pain and anxiety uh, using food was developed when you were like maybe from 0 to 18 months of your life. So the, the defense mechanism uh, using food is extremely strong. And it's very hard to fight it, to break it on your own. Uh, here you need to work on your uh, insecurity. Here you need to work with your self-worth and self-confidence. And start, you can do it by starting saying compliments to yourself. So every day give yourself at least seven compliments and keep doing it for the next 40 days, at least 40 days.